Today we're going to be looking at Keychron, and I've never built a Keychron before, and they seem to have a pretty decent selection for budget keyboards. So I'm building out this keyboard for my friend because it is her birthday coming up. I feel like it would be nice to kind of give her uh, a nice custom keyboard as she's been using Razer products for a long time, and personally I'm just not really a big fan of Razer products. So today we're gonna to be looking at the Keychron V3. The Keychron V3 is a TKL layout, basically everything except for the numpad. And we're doing this largely because the keycaps that I bought for this uh, don't have alternative keys, and you'll see why in a little bit. Now Keychron has always been, at least for most people, kind of the, the pinnacle of both budget and mid-range keyboards, especially for their DIY kits, their bare bones kit. So the Keychron V3 is one of is part of their budget lineup, and it's made out of plastic. They're not gasket mounted. They're uh, these keyboards are case mounted. But to be perfectly honest, the build quality is really really nice. Just taking apart, you just need to remove these eight screws that are on the back, and the, the, the top part just kind of pops off really, really nicely. You don't have to force anything. And that's how you kind of really know, like they've, they've done everything in a way where everything just fits together really, really nicely. There's no weird squeezing of parts or anything like that in there. So once you take off the top case, you just kind of notice that there are a few screws that you need to undo because that is what kind of maintains the PCB basically directly to the case. If you take that off, you can see Keychron has their their weird like rubber foam on the bottom. I don't really like this stuff that much. I, I feel it doesn't really do much for for the, any sort of sound or anything for for the keyboard. Uh, but just like for everything else, we're gonna basically put this keyboard together and then we're gonna see what it sounds like stock. So today, as far as switches go, we're gonna be using the Texi Sapphires. These are a tactile switch and they use 55 grams of activation force so not too bad you know not not too heavy but also not too light i think this is pretty good considering that you know you want a little bit of tactility especially when you're kind of playing games and stuff and she plays a lot of league of legends and we've all been playing diablo 4 recently so i think this will be really really good and as far as the keycaps go i found these keycaps on etsy these are from it's from uh, one of those stores that kind of makes custom keycaps, but I bought this for her because we play a lot of League of Legends together and she plays a lot of Syndra and so I figured I'd go with like a Syndra theme. And so these look really, really nice. They're, they're not the highest quality keycap. I find them to be a little hollow uh, in terms of tone, but I think a lot of it just has to do, in, you know, compare with the shape and just kind of like how they have the image on there so you can kind of see the Syndra on there. What's really really cool is that for the QWER it's the symbols of her skills and I thought that was really really cool because you know those are the uh, those are the League of Legends uh, main buttons that you push or main main keys that you push. So we uh, yeah after installing everything let's uh, go ahead and take a look and see what it sounds like stock. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of the how the Keychron sounds stock. I think it's a it's really really hollow, really really pingy. You can really tell that it's plastic, and it just it sounds really really clacky, but not like really in that good way. I, I feel like some clack is nice, and you kind of you want to retain a little bit of that, but not to the point where just the board just sounds. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just not a fan of it. So. Taking off all the keycaps, we're gonna, you know, luckily because this is a case mounted PCB, or sorry, case mounted plate, um, don't have to take off the switches, which is really, really nice. Uh, I, I'm so far, all the key keyboards that we've built don't have to take off the switches, <laughs> doing it the second time. So I have this Poron foam, if you guys remember, I used this for the previous build for the Doraemon build. So we're gonna add some of that underneath this rubber foam layer that they have. 
we're not gonna cut any we're just gonna cut out simple shapes or just kind of fill in those spots and then we're just gonna put the phone back on and then i decided i'm just gonna do one layer of tape mod i really liked how that came out on the Doraemon build and so we're gonna be doing the same here so once we put on the tape mod throwing everything back on and uh yeah let's see how this sounds with the two mods very simple that i've done to the keyboard Okay, yeah, so that sounds a lot better. I am a lot more happier with this. And I think this is kind of getting close to where I want to kind of head in the direction for my keyboard builds. I like keyboard tone that kind of takes advantage of the natural sound of the keyboard, but you still have a little bit of that slight foam tone on the back end, but not enough to just kind of make the entire keyboard sound like foam. So. Yeah, this is kind of the direction that I, I like to head in. To be perfectly honest, I'm actually pretty happy with these Keychron keyboards. I think they're they're just really, really nice. And it, it's, it's gonna be pretty hard, I feel like, for a lot of companies to kind of match up to this quality. I have a lot of budget keyboards and you know, you'll be seeing the builds for all of these, but currently I would say the Keychron quality wise, build, build wise, um, even material wise, I feel like this is, so far the best budget keyboard that I've built and uh, so yeah I mean I think this keyboard came out pretty nicely you know the I think that the the problem I have with Keychron is just the fact that every all their keyboards are just black and, and I think you get some blue uh, and you only really get white as a color for for their high-end and uh, or mid-range and high-end keyboards and that was a little bit disappointing i feel like the colors didn't quite match here i really kind of wanted a white keyboard but keychron was was the one that i went with because i liked their quality so well, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the build um hope you guys are enjoying the channel and uh i have been seeing a few more subscribers lately so uh yeah Hope you guys are enjoying everything and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.